In Malcolm Gladwell's book, Outliers, where he studies success, there's a 10,000 hour rule. And in this rule, he states that when you train or study for something for 10,000 hours, you become an expert at that. Now, if you read the whole book, you'll see that there are other factors to success, not just 10,000 hours of training, but if we extract that rule, there's a lot to learn from even getting to 10,000 hours and what it means to be an expert at something. If you were to work on something or studying for 40 hours a week, it would take you 250 weeks to get to 10,000 hours, which is approximately a little under five years. And if you did it for 20 hours a week, which is like a part-time job, that would get you to about maybe 10 years. So you can see that to get to 10,000 hours takes a really, really long time. Just because you get to 10,000 hours does not mean that you're gonna be the best in the world. But to get to 10,000 hours, you have to have a certain drive on a consistent basis, day in and day out for years that is unmatched by a lot of people. Once you arrive at 10,000 hours, another 10,000 hours doesn't sound so bad because at this point, whatever you're studying or training for, has become second nature, so another 10,000 hours is nothing. Getting 10,000 hours instills a certain amount of grit in yourself that will help you take your skills even farther after those 10,000 hours. As a dancer, I definitely got over 10,000 hours. I was trying to do the math, probably even closer to 20,000 hours, but easily 10,000 hours between the ages of nine and 20, and honestly, maybe just within my years in high school. And by putting in those 10,000 hours to train as a dancer did not guarantee me to have a professional dance career, but it definitely equipped me to be ready to dance professionally. I am super, super lucky to have danced professionally for two years before my injury, and I can attest that what I learned in those 10,000 hours really prepared me to take on studio etiquette, how to be in a rehearsal, how to train, how to just be responsible as a dancer and as a professional dancer. As I transfer my career from dancing to photos and videos, I know that I have not spent 10,000 hours or anything close to that when it comes to photos and videos. And I have a lot to work on, which is why I'm trying to make videos every day because I wanna train like I am as a dancer, but for this craft and that's what's making me and driving me to want to keep making videos every day and take photos and just get better put in the hours because I have honed my craft in training for dancing I can take those skills of training and mindsets that I learned from training for ballet that I can put that into my new craft, which is photos and videos. I would love to know what you guys are training for and what you guys want to be an expert at. The one thing is people don't want to put in the time. It takes a ton of time to be an expert at anything. And 10,000 hours is kind of a big number. It's kind of an arbitrary number. And I think you can be an expert below that or even it might take some people more than that. But the point is, is that to be an expert at anything, you have to put in consistent time and effort day in and day out for years and years to even be considered an expert. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it. You can listen to the full podcast in the description below. I really hope you listen to it. It's about my experience and talking more about how do you put in the hours? How do you actually uh, maintain a mindset over years and years and years of putting in hours day in and day out? I make videos every single day. I appreciate you guys watching and subscribing. So I will see you guys tomorrow in the next one. Peace and love.